Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope, and yes, coffee. Don't even worry about it, you know it's nearby. Uh, today, we are talking about getting Argos a friend. I have been contemplating it, I have been looking at options, I'm just not sure yet. I'm not fully committed to getting one, but I was really really thinking about it earlier today, which is why I kind of started thinking about doing the episode, because maybe y'all can leave some comments below and let me know what y'all think um, about getting Argos a friend. So when I first got Argos, uh, he was about 10 weeks old, 9 or 10 weeks old, and he already had an older brother in the house named Reggie. And so Reggie is right here on my forearm. And Reggie, when uh, Christopher, my ex-husband, and I split, we, um, we each kind of took the pet that um, kind of had bonded with each of us. Reggie loved living, kind of sleeping under Christopher's desk and under his feet and really bonded well with Christopher. And so Christopher kept Reggie and I kept Argos. Argos was my shadow who always kind of slept at my head and slept and just always followed me around. So, well, Reggie passed away in September, but Reggie, um, but Argos has not had a friend um, to kind of, I guess, keep him from being like what I interpret as being lonely while I'm at work. Now, when I was overseas, I worked within about a five minute walk from my apartment. So I was able to just walk from the, um, from where I was working over to where I was living and I could just walk him at lunch and very easily kind of could give him like three or four walks throughout the day. In LA, again, it wasn't that easy. So I have to do one in the morning, one as soon as I got home and one really not bef not too late in the evening because I didn't want to walk Argos at night in LA. Um, and in Georgia, like I could let, and honestly, he bonded really well with my mom's dog, Shadow. So, um, and Shadow was, abs she is absolutely the sweetest, sweetest thing. And she treated him so well. Now she's a younger puppy. And when I say younger, she's about two, maybe going on almost three now, but, um, she's bigger and, but she treated Argo so sweetly, but she loved to tease the Mickey out of him. And, um, he hated it because he is very low key and chill. And right now he is sitting on the edge of the bed, just right over there, staring out the window. So if he decides he wants to come over here, I will try to introduce him to the YouTubes. But, um, so here lately, now that I've got to Huntsville, I don't have any expectations of moving and my apartment complex is um, very pet friendly uh, where people have multiple pets. I'm really contemplating on maybe, I don't know if I want to get another dog, but maybe a cat because uh, he has had a cat friend in the past and he actually has some cat tendencies. I have no issues having a cat um, other than I do worry about some of the cat tendencies of wanting to claw furniture. So I know if you have like the appropriate toys and things like that, that can mitigate that sort of, those sorts of things. I don't really want to get one too young. I'd love to get one that's maybe already, uh, house trained, litter box trained. Um, not, I'm not worried about them being toilet trained, although that would be cool as heck. But um, I'd love to be able to find a rescue one that would um, maybe be pretty chill, that could get along with him, that, because um, I know he would actually really enjoy the company. I would just need to find a cat that would be willing to get to know Argos. I think, like I said, a young cat, I think would be a good fit for him, but I'm not sure a young cat is a good fit for me and my current lifestyle of just going to work and then having to train them. Whereas, you know, kind of an adult cat would be a good fit, but I would also need to 
already know that they are good with dogs. Um, he's non-aggressive. He is very social, especially in a one-on-one -on -one situation. He does not ch uh, he does not chase them. He has um, he thinks of cats. He's always thought of cats as his friend. So he actually really gets confused when cats swipe at him or um, like don't want to be his friends. Like I've seen him actually get upset when a cat um, hisses at him because he doesn't understand why they're not his friend. And it's the cutest thing because he really, um, he really loves to socialize. And so he, uh, <laughs> he really just doesn't understand when other dogs and other cats don't see him as a friend because he's pretty am um, amicable. Uh, he, he actually does a little tap dance if he wants to play and his play is very mild. He doesn't actually play with toys, although if he sees another dog with a toy, he will, um, he, he wants it, but only to take it away so they can't have it. Um, and then he'll kind of put it away. He doesn't like a lot of noise. He doesn't like a lot of fuss. If someone is running, he'll usually bark at them. And I always interpret that as him telling them to slow down. So, um, he used to bark at people as we, uh, were in Chicago and people, it's a, it's a very runner friendly city. So there were people who were constantly running and, um, he would bark at them as they went by and, and I wouldn't even call it an aggressive bark. It's more like a, Hey, slow down. And, um, even people on bicycles, he would do the same thing. Like, Hey, be careful. And I, I don't know where he gets that from. <laughs> But it's really cute because it's not it's not even like he wants to chase them. He's not even trying to pull on the least leash to chase them. It's really more of like a hey be careful sort of like bark. But uh I have been looking at a couple rescues online. I um I have contemplated getting a black cat because I know um black cats are the least adopted ones and he's He's a little black dog, and I think that would be kind of cute to have a little black cat to go with a little black dog, and um, then they could match, and then I wouldn't I wouldn't wor wonder where the fur came from because I would just have two animals that are already black, and um, and then it would just be extra black fluff all over the place. But um, anyway, leave some comments down below. Reach me at one of the links. Subscribe, like, let me know what you think about. Um, finding a friend for Argos, and I will see you all on the next page. Thanks for tuning in.